Welcome to the Sunday edition of the CIK Stars of Karting TV. I'm Lee Hanischek. Here with me is Scott Auld, and we've had a fantastic weekend here at Round 1 in Newcastle. Scott, the weekend has just gone superbly. It's CIK, it's back, and it's bigger and badder than ever. Yeah, it's spot on, Lee. Uh, you know, the crowd's coming in, the roaring of the engines. It's certainly what we wanted for Round 1 here at Newcastle, and uh, I was overjoyed to be there. The numbers, Scott, it was impressive, and it was encouraging to see the hype around the track. Yeah, it was, and I think while well, you mentioned hype, there's so many talented drivers that have moved into this category, and it's provided the great action, so it was great to see, and the skill of driving was, was impressive, so really happy how it's all turned out. Well, Scott, in Pro Junior KF3 today, it was Pierce Lahane, Daylight second, and he was just dominant all weekend long in his CRG car. Mate, untouchable, I think. Uh, you know, he, as soon as the, uh, the green lights were gone, he, was, he just took off, you know. And uh, a credit to, to Pierce. He knows that circuit well, but uh, he's in fine form this year, so uh, congratulations to him. Behind Pierce, of course, there was a great battle for second and third. Jonathan Venter was in there. Brock Plum, he also impressed yeah, there in his Viral cart. These junior drivers are really stepping up to the mark, and it's only round one. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, really stepping up indeed. And I think Plum was overjoyed for his result. He's, uh, you know, these engines, they're a very powerful engine for these young drivers. And uh, he handled it very well. Venter in the same boat. The guys finishing second and third were just hopped out into a massive step for him. And uh, they took it very well. Scott, we've seen all weekend that Pierce Lehane was head and shoulders above the rest of the field. What was it that made him so impressive? Mate, uh, you just get the slingshot, obviously, being off pole position. But uh, he knows the circuit well, he knows where to drive, but uh, that go-kart did look impressive. Uh, the grip was coming down and uh, you know, he's got a very experienced Benaman, uh, which is his father. And uh, that cart was just, just jacking nicely, had very good steer. Looking at a lot of the other carts, a lot of the other carts really struggled to start uh, steering. They lost a lot of steer as the race went on. He just maintained a very, very good race pace and uh, was in control the whole weekend. So full credit to this, you know, the, the whole team there. It's a great job. Just after Pierce crossed the line in today's final, we spoke with him about what it meant to him to win round one. Pierce Lehane, you've, you've just come out of the final. Congratulations, you've, you've won the first round of the 2010 CIK Stars of Karting Series. Yeah, thanks. It was a really good race and I'm over the moon to win this, the first round of the series this year. Pierce, you really set the pace all weekend. Does that give you a lot of confidence entering the next three rounds? Oh yeah, it's given me a lot of confidence that I can turn up and just be really fast. The Pro Gearbox category, it's brought some new excitement to a lot of people around the sport that have been around for many, many years. Matthew Wall, he reigned supreme today. Made a faultless drive for Matty Wall, just hovered around in the heats yesterday and he knew when to step it up. Finals time, bang, did a fantastic job to take a win. And once again, th these guys were doing 41 gear changes in one lap, 25 laps around this challenging circuit. Fantastic job. Although, Matthew Wall, he nearly threw it all away on the final corner. Yeah, unbelievable. Uh, he was just so overwhelmed, I think. Uh, had a massive lead. It was like 1.2 seconds on that last lap. And... Uh, I'd maybe a little worn out, maybe, but at the same time, I think overwhelmed and just was in cruise mode. And wow, didn't Kel Tressa to give him a scare over the line. Tressa ended up crossing the line only 0.037 of a second behind Wally. Here's what Wally had to say after the final. Matthew Wall, you're the winner of the opening round of the 2010 CIK Stars of Karting Series. Yeah, Lee, I uh, virtually wasn't, but a uh, bit of a mistake on my behalf, but yeah, look, I was a great feeling, my uh, JT Team Arrow, we got there in the end, uh, I don't know what happened behind me, but I know, I know for a fact mine was was alright until three quarters of the race and the tyres went away, I went away, and luckily I had a gap to just, not cruise zone, but uh, survive. Talk us through that last corner, what was going through your mind? I, I watched too many Grand Prix, I think, um, you know, I just, after a long hard race, uh, I just wanted to just pack off and enjoy the moment, I didn't really expect Cal to be flying up that quick, and Oh, I think it must have been my lucky day, I think. <laughs> 0.0347, I think, was the final margin. Yeah, that was a rookie mistake. I'll write that on card book, don't you worry. <laughs> Scotty, yesterday, Chris Hayes was very dominant. 
What happened to him today? Well, I think uh, obviously this is uh, Christopher's first time in CIK series, and uh, this series is about saving ties as well. And Matty Wall, he knew when to shine, and it's, it was finals days, as we mentioned earlier. So, man, he really upped the tempo. And uh, unfortunately, Hayes uh, just lost the edge on the tyres and the cart was really sliding around, so uh, a real shame for Hayes. But, you know, there's another three rounds to go of the championship and, you know, they'll certainly uh, probably learn from maybe a mistake or two, but uh, they'll be in for a good show next time. Certainly uh, an impressive showing by Chris Hayes over the weekend. Also, as Fergus Symes showed some great pace, and Geordie Lindstrom, he came from the back of the pack to finish third. I know you love me, but nothing like that. Nearly gave me the win. Yeah, it's a top bloke. Not rookie smart, mistake, but. man. Rookie mistake. In pro light, Scotty, it was Keen Fothergill once again who showed that he's adapting very, very well to the new CIK specification of racing. Made a fantastic job for the team and himself. He new chassis, new engine, new tyres. And uh, they've put that package together well and uh, absolutely was overjoyed with his victory and the emotion showed over the finish line. Ken Fothergill, fantastic drive. Your debut in the CIK Stars of Karting Series. A dominant, dominant victory today. Yeah, really happy with how it went this weekend. Uh, didn't expect it, so we've made a good change over the weekend and it's really worked out, so we're happy. You've got a great teammate in John Grove that have finished 1-2 across the line like that. You've got to be very happy. Yeah, no, really happy. Happy with the tracks of the team, MG Engines. Uh, pit crew, and yeah, it's all worked out well. Three three rounds to go. What's it going to take to rest that number one plate from Hayden McBride? Just keep going the way we are, and, and it should work out, so let's give it a go. A shame for John Grover. He lost his transponder on the opening lap and disqualified, even though he crossed the line second. Yeah, you know, Johnny's a great guy. He took it well. I think what he can look at, they've got speed, so he knows he can be in good shape for the next couple of rounds. Unfortunately for Hayden McBride, his day didn't end like he wanted to. And fellow Nova Castrian is Simon Roberts. Well, Scotty, his day ended on the sidelines as well. Yeah, real shame for the locals. They were red-hot favourites for, for this weekend. Uh, Simon Roberts there started out, got a great start, snapped the chain. So he was uh, really distraught after that. And McBride, the good thing I saw for him was he just kept pedalling on, had a couple of gremlins at the start of the final and pressed on and got, a, got some points and that's, he knows that's important for this championship. There was rubber flying everywhere today with a freshly laid circuit at Ipswich for the next round. Can't wait to get there. Yeah, it's going to be fantastic. I think we're going to see massive rubber going down on the new surface at Willowbank. It's very smooth, so we're going to see some fantastic action. Maybe a bit of two-wheeling. We'll wait and see and find out. The next round of the CIK Stars of Karting Series will be held in Ipswich in Queensland on May 7-9. Until then, stay up to date with all the latest news on www.starsofkarting.com.au.